ലാസ്റ്റ് വീക്കിൽ ഞാൻ പ്രോമിസ് ചെയ്തതുപോലെ സെൻട്രൽ യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റിയുടെ റീജിയണൽ ഡയറക്ടർ മിസ്റ്റർ സെബാസ്റ്റിനായിരിക്കും ഞാനൊരു എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ കൺസൾട്ടൻസിയുടെയും ഭാഗമല്ല ഞാനൊരു എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ കൺസൾട്ടൻസിയുടെ വേണ്ടി വർക്ക് ചെയ്യുന്ന ആളല്ല അവരുടെ അഡ്വർട്ടൈസ്മെന്റ് വർക്ക് ചെയ്യുന്ന ആളല്ല പി ആർ കിട്ടുന്ന വേണ്ടി ഓപ്ഷൻസ് ഉണ്ടോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഐ മീൻ യു എസിൽ ഗ്രീൻ കാർഡ് കിട്ടുന്ന വേണ്ടി ഓപ്ഷൻസ് ഉണ്ട് നമസ്കാരം വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ദിസ് ഇസ് അജേഷ് സോ എൻ്റെ ലാസ്റ്റ് വീക്കിൽ ഞാൻ പ്രോമിസ് ചെയ്തതുപോലെ സെൻട്രൽ യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റിയുടെ റീജിയണൽ ഡയറക്ടർ മിസ്റ്റർ സെബാസ്റ്റിനെ എനിക്ക് ഓൺലൈൻ വഴി ഒരു കോൺവെർസേഷൻ നടത്താൻ സാധിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് അതിൻ്റെ ഒരു വീഡിയോ ആണ് ഞാൻ ഇതോടൊപ്പം അറ്റാച്ച് ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ളത് അപ്പോൾ ഈ വീഡിയോ നിങ്ങൾ കാണുകയാണെങ്കിൽ സെൻട്രൽ യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റി പഠിക്കാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ടുള്ള അഡ്മിഷൻ റിക്വയർമെൻറ്റ്സ് എങ്ങനെയൊക്കെ ആണ് നമുക്ക് സെൻട്രൽ യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റിയിൽ എത്തപ്പെടാൻ പറ്റുന്നത് അത് പഠിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നമുക്ക് എവിടെയൊക്കെ വർക്ക് ചെയ്യാം പി ആർ കിട്ടുന്നതിന് വേണ്ടി ഓപ്ഷൻസ് ഉണ്ടോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഐ മീൻ യു എസിൽ ഗ്രീൻ കാർഡ് കിട്ടുന്നതിന് വേണ്ടി ഓപ്ഷൻസ് ഉണ്ടോ ഇതൊക്കെ എവിടെ നമുക്ക് ട്രെയിൻ ചെയ്യാം ഇതിനെ പറ്റി എല്ലാം മിസ്റ്റർ സെബാസ്റ്റൻ ഡീറ്റെയിൽ ആയിട്ട് പറയുന്നുണ്ട് നിങ്ങൾ ഈ വീഡിയോ ഫുള്ളായിട്ട് കാണുക Okay, hello there. Um, my name is Sebastian Courage. Um, how are you, Ajesh? I'm really good. I'm so thankful that you, uh, you are spending this time with me. And I know that's a uh, busy schedule for you. I'm really thank, thank you. Not a problem at all. We're really, I'm really excited to chat to you and your students about our great medical school. Mr. Sebastian, uh, my YouTube channel, my, most of my viewers are especially from uh, South India. and uh, you know that indians are re- really uh, good for medicine and they really want to study medicine uh, so if you don't mind you can please share about your university and what are the admission requirements especially for indian curriculum not a problem at all actually and and what you say is absolutely very very correct um we're actually the largest medical school in the world um and okay. to be honest with you um we have about 6 and a half thousand medical students on our campus um or in the university should say and a very good proportion of them are indian students um whether they're first generation american indian students um but we also have a lot of indian students from kerala from kochi from um kanai chandigarh we have them in the north we have them in the south as funny as the south of india seem to produce some of the best doctors in the world um which is fantastic yeah. um so yeah so our university is st george's university as you know um we have two campuses uh, one is based in the uk in newcastle uh, and the other one is on the island of grenada where i i think some of your some of your followers have seen the uh, the video yes, yes um yes we are an accelerated program and we're actually the number one ranked medical school in the world that provides physicians i.e. jobs into the united states uh, for the last 11 years we have been the number one provider of positions into the united states um and we do also have a number of residency spots in the united kingdom so students from india who want to come to our uh, or who should say who want to become a doctor were probably about the only option genuine option path um for a very very fast transition um we do recognize that the indian board and the cbse is a very very yeah. strong educational system at the high school level um yeah. so students who are 80 plus in the cbse or indian board um they would go into a five year medical program um and the okay. end result would be a md not an mbbs okay however after okay. the third year the student would obtain a bachelor's in medical science from the uk from our partner northumbria university and at the end of the fifth year the student would go to MD uh, from St George's ah. University and then our resident match rate in okay. the, um our residency match rate in uh, the United States for international students for Indian passport holders is 91%. So yeah, we're a very very strong medical school. We have 70 hospitals all over the world uh or predominantly in the United Kingdom, the um the US and Canada. uh and as probably a lot of your students will know because um they 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 do a lot of research for medicine um the way to be- obtain a residency and actually to become a doctor and practice in a hospital is really to have a lot of letters of recommendations from attending physicians um we have 70 hospitals throughout the US UK and Canada where students who are part of St George's University can do their last 2 years and this really enhances their um ability to obse- obtain a very good residency match and to obtain a good residency spot in 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 their chosen country we're also MCI approved 
um, which I think is very, very important, Medical Colleges of India. Um, so the students can come back very seamlessly if they wish to come back to India and to practice and, and to be a doctor there. We're also approved in 55 different countries all over the world, including obviously the UK, US, Canada, India, Middle East, etc. Yeah. Okay. So what's the uh, minimum uh, marks required for getting an admission? Okay, so we're looking at 80 plus in the CBSE system, okay? okay. I mean, or the Indian yeah. Board, the Indian Board CBSE, and that would obtain yeah. a five-year medical program to get to the MD. Okay, so do they need a, any kind of English language requirements like IELTS, TOEFL? Yeah, they do indeed. Um, okay, because our end degree is a um, is an MD, so it's a postgraduate, we require 7.0 in all bands in the IELTS. Um, oh, okay. If we have a little bit under, for example, a 6.5 in a couple of bands, we, will, we do okay. have an English language department that will give English support okay. whilst the student is on campus. But hopefully, okay. um, the student has got those 7.0. Um, and I do recommend on that IELTS score is England, English is not a great writing okay. product. <laughs> so yeah. for the students that when they get to the writing side of their IELTS, they should just take their... The, the test a bit slower and do small sentences, short paragraphs, and that usually gets them a good seven in IELTS. Uh, okay. So uh, regarding visa, I think the visa is uh, on arrival, right? Okay, that's a great question. The visas on arrival if they go to the Grenada campus. Um, mm -hmm. If they go to the UK, um, they yeah. need to do a visa. We do not do it through UCAS. We do it all directly ourselves and we do it in each individual application themselves. But they would okay. also, it is mandatory, they have to take the UKVI for uh, the UK okay. because they do need to have a visa. And the UK okay. government require the UKVI for a visa. Okay. So if any of the students want to study in UK, they, have, they can go directly to UK or they, they need to spend one year with uh, Grenada? Absolutely. Um, they, can, they can spend the first two years in the UK and then the yeah. third year in Grenada and then the fourth and fifth year they make a choice. There is another okay. program that St George's University has just done as well, which is yeah. in Ramaya University, which is in Bangalore. Okay, oh. so we have a partnership in India now. Um, for the oh, Indian students, okay. where they can spend the first year in Ramaya and then okay. they can transfer into either the UK campus or the U or the Grenada campus. So we now actually have another option, which is in Bangalore. Oh, that's great for our Indians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think we'll be yeah. the first person to hear about it with you and your followers. <laughs> yes, yeah, great, really great because first year they will get an idea about all the medicine. Then they. They, they are getting mature in the second year, so they can go to uh, either in UK or Grenada. Correct. And so they can practice either in US or Canada, right? 100%, yes. Um, the majority of the students do choose to practice in the States. Um, mm -hmm. The Canada, Canada is a little bit harder um, because of the, okay. the, the lack of residency spots. But what majority of our students, they do choose to become a doctor in the States. And those that want to go to Canada or the UK or wherever they may be, sometimes they spend maybe two or three years as a doctor in, in the States. Okay. And then they just okay. move and transfer into Canada or the UK or wherever it may be. Okay. So once they come into their uh, MD program, uh, in, either in US, either in UK, and what about the... Um, a permanent resident of, I mean, how they can get a permanent resident visa? Is it possible I, to get a... That's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a great question. Look, I'm not an immigration lawyer, um, so I yeah. don't want to give immigration advice or anything like that. Um, but, you know, a lot of our students end up remaining in the United States and they do obtain a residency, a green card. You know, obviously they're a doctor. Um, oh, so great. they, you know, that is the natural progression. But I don't want to say... I don't want to give advice on immigration because I, I'm not an immigration yeah, lawyer. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Um, but anyhow, but yeah, any a of lot of students, our students do remain and have been there for 20, 30 years, so, so yes. As I'm representing India, I know the Indian mentality that they, they want to get a passport as, either in UK or Canada or US because they're spending some, their effort, money and everything. So um, it might be their ultimate goal is to get a passport. That's why I asked this question. Okay, so I think if you did your research, you would see yeah, the number one it. provider, the number one provider, one of the high, well, not the number one, but one of the highest providers of passports 
and residency okay. visas and passports in the United States are those of practicing doctors there. Oh, great. So they can work as a doctor in Absolutely, the US, right? Yeah. As I said, 91% of our international students obtain a residency and a job in the United States. Great. Uh, so how you, if, suppose if some of the students are co coming directly to me or they're just dropping a comment on my comment box, and if, the, if I can share your contact details, is it okay for you? Yeah, that's fine. That's not a problem. You can share my contact details. Um, but what I would suggest is if you make sure that every student that you have that come into your into your system, um, I would yeah. make sure that, you know, you, you chat to them first and then just pass them on to me and I'll be very, very happy to. Sure, sure. Definitely. Definitely, definitely that I can do. No problem. Help yeah. them and assist them in their, in their admission. Okay. And um, uh, yeah, and now you know that uh, we are in the midst of this coronavirus pand pandemic situation. So. Mm -hmm. All parents are really concerned about their child's kids to send to another, other countries. So um, regarding the safety, I think Grenada is one of the uh, zero percentage coronavirus place, right? Um, yeah, that's a great question. And funny enough, and I, and I, and I have an 18, a 19 year old daughter that is, um, is studying in the United States. And funny enough, she's stuck in the United okay. States at the moment. And I live here oh. in Dubai, as you know. Yeah. Um, so I can empathize very much with all of the families and all of the parents who are very, very worried about their, their children and traveling around in the coronavirus in this pandemic, in, the, in, the, in, this, in, this, in these times, unprecedented times. Um, but what I can tell you is that, yes, St. George's had, uh, the Grenada campus has had um, 21 cases of coronavirus. Um, okay. And as of today, I believe there is still one active case. So there is one person in the island oh. that has, has got corona. That was the last time I checked, but that was about a week ago. I haven't checked recently. Okay. Um, but yes, we're very much corona free. Um, but oh. what we're also doing for these coming in for this coming intake, and we have an intake in August and September in the UK okay. and Grenada respectively, um, we are giving the students the option to study online or on campus. And a lot of the students are choosing to study on campus. Oh, okay. Online, yeah. sorry, I apologize, which is fine. Um, and our grades yes. have gone up with the online product, which is good. And also the other option is the Ramaya campus. The students can spend that first year in India, in Bangalore, in, if they're worried about traveling abroad. And we're very much hopeful that come January, everything will be back yeah. on campus. Yeah, yeah, fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. The main and the main important thing, we got the fees and the scholarship. Okay, so we're pretty much on a par on the same price as a UK or US medical school. And as I'm sure most of your students know, you know, the, you know it's, it costs money to do. Our, our medical program, um, probably costs the five-year program after scholarship. The students are looking at about two hundred and fifty thousand US dollars for the fifth, for the five years, around circa fifty thousand dollars a year once the scholarship has kicked in. Um, that okay. is included um, a ninety thousand dollars scholarship with some of the students. Um, our um, that's roughly what you're looking at. Um, the opening salaries. So a doctor in the United yeah. States once they've completed re a residency if people if you can check online um, but I was looking online the other day and it was saying the opening salaries are circa around three hundred thousand dollars a year so with the nine hundred ninety one percent of our graduates the return on investment when the students come to St. George's for job yeah. for the rest of their lives is, is, is very very yeah. high yeah you're absolutely right and what kind of financial help that you can, I mean, financial aid that you can give, uh, give to the students? Well, we don't give financial like, aid for international students. Um, if they're U.S. passport holders, they're entitled to Title IV loans, where a U.S. school, obviously. Um, but a lot of our, my Indian parents and Indian students, a lot of the families have saved money and they, you know, they, 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 they plan ahead for their children to go and study abroad. Yeah, um, yeah. But there are a number of Indian banks that I know a lot of our, a lot of our Indian families have gone to that have got um, loans and from, from, from banks in India. So yeah, but yeah, we yeah, don't yeah. Have, say give any, um, any financial aid for international students. Are they facing any kind of challenges? I mean, like, uh... Uh, they are in a new culture, any kind of culture okay, that's, shock a, that's a great question. That's actually a really good question. Um, there's two things that I want to point out about what, why St. George's is so good as well. We are very, very diverse. We have a very, very multicultural uh, enrollment. Um, we, yeah. 
as I said, we, you know, we, we've got a lot of international students from lots of different walks of life. Um, we have over 60 different clubs, um, international oh. clubs. We have, you know, we have even have one, probably one of the best Indian restaurants I've been to um, is about a mile outside of the campus. Um, and we have a lot of Indian, you know, Diwali. We do everything. We, we, we very much celebrate Super. all of the international, all the, all the international um, holidays and clubs we have. On top That's of so that, um, we're probably one of the most boutique education choices. Um, uh, George's basically, we do what is called the integrated learning system. Um, and what that basically does is we only have about 50% of our, our, our classes are done in lectures. And then the other 50% are very, very small breakout rooms. So there's much one-on-one okay. -on -one tuition. There's one to four, one to the maximum class sizes. There's one to eight. Okay. So the students are very, very much looked after throughout the whole of the throughout the whole of their journey and throughout the whole of their time at St George's University. Students will match and become a doctor, and they're the ones that find the the, the residency spots for for our students, and that's why our our, our success rate is so high. All the parents are mostly concerned about their. Uh, hostel facilities are they uh, is there in a separate hostel for boys and girls or absolutely yeah we have boys boys and girls separated um so the first year it's mandatory for the students to live on campus um okay. after the second year the students can go off and find accommodation with their friends if they yeah, wish yeah. Um, outside but the first year they must spend on campus um You've seen the video, I'm sure. Uh, State of the art yeah, accommodation. Yes. Uh, it's it's pretty much like living in a diamond star resort, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah, you are right. Absolutely, the video was really great. I got so many reviews regarding the video, and they're asking that where exactly this is kind of a holiday tour or something. <laughs> yes, it looks beautiful, but the most important thing is the quality of the education is very, very high. Very true. Very true. Yes. Okay, um, anyhow, thank, thank you very much, Mr. Sebastian, that you shared a lot about the Central University. And I think it, it will be really helpful for our view, my viewers, uh, as, uh, especially my, uh, my inter communities. Not a problem at all. It's been a pleasure, and I hope you all are very safe and have a great rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye bye. So, this video is a very important video. I am video. In any case, Central University, particularly the editor, and the English to Google details are in the link, or comment on the just drop in the Mathi, and direct email ID, link, direct contact details, and provide here. Otherwise, the Google information could tell him the university and counselors and contact here in Sadikan area. Pina and the world are in Paranola, Nano educational consultancy a day in Bagamella, Nano educational consultancy came to work in Alala, our advertisement work in Alala, it ended an entertainment event in a chicken the other, Karananian UK. UK Padikan Boy Sametham, any Kondaya, Korcha, Budimotel, any Kondaya, lack of information. Are the Volanum Bak, other Volanum, are the Volanum, 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 the Volanum,